You may have heard about BitChat, a new messaging app created by Jack Dorsey. But why launch another app in an already crowded market? The answer to this lies in how BitChat works and what sets it apart from apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, or Signal. The key distinction is that BitChat does not rely on a central server or even an internet connection. Instead, it transmits messages directly over Bluetooth. In conventional messaging apps, messages first pass through a central server before reaching the recipient. While this enables quick delivery, it also makes communication dependent on servers, networks, and are vulnerable to censorship. BitChat mitigates these risks by using a decentralized communication protocol built on top of Bluetooth. Let's look at an example. Suppose Alice wants to send a message to Bob. If they are close enough, their BitChat app can use Bluetooth to transmit messages between them. Things get interesting when Alice and Bob are far apart for a direct Bluetooth communication. In such a case, if another active user, say Charlie, is within Bluetooth range of both Alice and Bob, BitChat uses Charlie's device as a relay. That is, messages travel from Alice to Charlie and then from Charlie to Bob. For a discussion on more practical scenario with multiple active users, let's represent BitChat peer-to-peer -peer or P2P network as a graph. In this graph, each active user is a node and an edge between two nodes indicate that they are within each other's Bluetooth range. In this case, BitChat uses a multi-hop, multi-path relay mechanism for messaging. Here's how it works. When Alice types a message for Bob, her app scans for nearby active users. Since Charlie is active and within direct communication range, it sends Alice's message to Charlie. As Bob isn't in Charlie's range either, Charlie looks for other BitChat users around him. Let's say Charlie finds another active user named David. So what Charlie does is, it forwards Alice's message to David. David then continues the process, passing the message along until it finally reaches Bob. While the concept is straightforward, BitChat faces several technical challenges. First and foremost, BitChat network is constantly changing because users move around and go online and offline without informing. To handle this, BitChat employs multipath transmission, where the same message is sent through multiple relay chains at once. For instance, Alice's message to Bob travels one route via Charlie, David, and Alan, while another copy moves through Charlie, Emma, and Frank. If one route fails, the other can still deliver the message. BitChat also adds redundancy with a store and forward mechanism. That is, if a relay cannot immediately transfer the message along, it stores the message and forwards it once a new neighbor comes into its range. All these strategies minimize single point of failure and make BitChat communication more reliable. But with so many relays, how does BitChat ensure secure communication? To understand this, consider this analogy. Suppose Alice wants to send Bob a suitcase full of sensitive documents. Alice does not have time to deliver the suitcase herself. So, she requests Frank for his service. As Alice is concerned about safety of her documents, she locks the suitcase before handing it over to Frank. After Bob receives the suitcase, he uses a duplicate key to unlock the content. This setup keeps the data safe in transit, but creates another problem. How can Alice securely share a duplicate key with Bob? In encryption, public-private key cryptography allows two people, such as Alice and Bob, to establish a shared secret without transmitting it directly. Each person has a public key visible to everyone and a private key kept hidden. To derive the shared key, Alice uses her private key with Bob's public key, while Bob uses his private key with Alice's public key. Because the underlying function is symmetric, both arrive at the same key. Once Alice and Bob derive the shared key, they can use it to encrypt and decrypt their messages. This guarantees secure communication even if the messages travel through multiple relays. That was a high-level overview of how BitChat enables secure P2P messaging over Bluetooth. For a deeper look covering how BitChat manages the network, reduces bandwidth, and optimizes battery performance, see the references in the description.